I've been bitter toward Canon for quite some time now. I started my filmmaking career on the Canon T5i, eventually moved on to the 70D, then things got dark. The Panasonic GH4 got released. Things seemed promising, and they were. The GH4 had so many cinematography features. Oh, my battery's dead. At a fraction of the cost of any Canon cinema camera. Then the GH5 came along and naturally, I upgraded to it. Now I've been using Panasonic cameras for over four years, but something's still missing. I'm just gonna say it, it's the autofocus and the skin tones, look at this. Autofocus. On a Sigma lens. It's this good? And look at my skin. Looks better on camera than real life. Now along comes the Canon 90D. Initially released with no 24 frames per second. Canon, what were you thinking? Oh, money, yeah. But we all spoke out and alas, 24 frames per second has returned. Hello, wonderful people. Today, we're on a mission to retrieve the Canon 90D. I guess it snowed in Nashville. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it was unlocked, cool. That's absolutely not my car. I just <laughs> tried to <laughs> get into the wrong car. Here's my car, and it has no snow on it. That was such a weird feeling. I felt like I was breaking the lock. Well, who doesn't lock their car? That's so weird. All right, well, we're here in Nashville, Tennessee at Lens Rentals. It's the business without a logo over there. They are the sponsor of this video and one of the sponsors of my channel. Thank you very much, Lens Rentals. We'll talk about all that later. I'm gonna go in and get the old 90D. All right, ladies and gents, we got the camera. I wanna see this thing. Look at this little guy. Look at him. He's a cute little thing. I only have one lens on me and it's this Tokina 11 to 16 on my GH5. So I'm gonna pop this off, put it on here and see if we have some, some power. Are we rolling? Is this working? Can you hear me? This is the first test with the Canon 90D. My lens is kind of noisy with autofocus, but I don't know. Maybe you can't hear it that much. I don't know. This autofocus seems like it's working. Yeah, my lens is noisy, holy crap. I actually think the 90D was almost completely forgotten about. There's barely any YouTube content on this camera because of Canon's weird marketing stunt of not putting 24 frames per second in one of their most popular camera lines. So as a YouTuber and a cinematographer, I wanted to try out the Canon 90D, test it in a bunch of different scenarios and see if it's good. Spoilers, it's pretty damn good. Mm, let's get some light in here. I'm gonna put my Sigma 18 to 35 on this with an ND filter and just go get a little bit of outdoor footage because it's very beautiful outside. It snowed last night. Ooh, the Sigma seems quieter. Yeah, I don't hear it. I have my Sigma 18 to 35 on with the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon variable ND filter. Really liking the Sigma 18 to 35. I haven't obviously looked at the footage on my computer yet, but it's looking good on this tiny screen. Let's talk about the image quality of the Canon 90D. Right off the bat, the 4K on this camera looks amazing. There's a couple different frame rate options in this camera. It's pretty limited, but it's simple, so I actually like it. You can do 4K 24, 4K 30, or 1080 60 frames per second. I'm used to the GH5, which has 4K 60, which I love, but the 1080 60 on this camera actually looks pretty good. It's still pretty sharp. We're gonna see how sharp that is compared to the 4K, see if it's usable. Wow. Something awesome that I figured out is you can go download a flat profile for this camera that's close to a log profile. If you just go with the stock profiles in this camera, the dynamic range is limited. We'll get into that in a little bit. See how that's all blown out? I can stop down with my ND filter a little bit. Still blown out up top. It's really dark down here. I went ahead and downloaded this profile from a website called Technicolor. All right, so we're gonna try to hack into the mainframe of this Canon 90D. I wanna try to put a cine style profile on this camera, see if we can get some better dynamic range. Hacking, 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 hacking. 
So what I think is happening is I have to download this Canon EOS utility, then plug the camera into my computer. I think this is the appropriate USB cable. I got it. I freaking got it. This is the CineStyle profile that I just uploaded to the 90D. This is the standard picture profile on the Canon 90D that I tweaked. I reduced the contrast, saturation, and sharpness all the way down. This is the standard profile, completely untouched. This is crazy. I can tell the blacks look a lot more flat. Skin tone looks less blown out. Basically, it's turning this thing into a small baby EOS R. You don't get the same bit depth as the EOS R. I don't even know what the bit depth is on this, but when you're putting stuff just on YouTube, it really doesn't matter that much. I like quality, I like pixels, all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, YouTube's compression is gonna make those two cameras look very similar if you're using this flat profile. Uh. Core. And we're testing the 90D with the, the uh, custom Technicolor Cine style picture profile, right? Yeah. Totally. Who that girl with the booty? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Views, 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 views. <laughs> color grading, I pretty much exclusively use Film Convert, but strangely, they only had a profile for the ADD and not the 90D. I messed with it a bunch and used the ADD profile and turns out it works completely fine. They probably have very, very similar color science, so that ADD profile works great for this camera. I really, really loved the results I was getting using Film Convert and the flat CineStyle 2 profile on this camera. And did I mention I love the skin tones? If only it could cancel out the zits. I'm so used to having to take a ton of magenta out of my Panasonic footage. Even just looking at this little screen on this camera, I can tell the skin looks awesome. Let's talk about dynamic range. In my opinion, I think dynamic range is probably the key factor in whether or not a camera looks cinematic or video. There are tons of things that go into that. It, the cinematic thing is very overdone on YouTube, but DR, dynamic range, is the main struggle of the Canon 90D. But there are ways to work around this and shoot around this where you can still get a very pro look on a camera like this. You just have to shoot smart. So here's a couple quick tips on how to get really good looking images and not blowing out your images on the 90D. First one is just not shooting directly into a very bright condition. The highlights clip off very early and you can see these big white blotches in the sky. So if you can avoid shooting directly into super bright conditions, maybe reframing your subject to have them in a more soft background. Also, you can use a standard profile in this camera and just reduce the contrast a bunch. Or you can download the Technicolor CineStyle 2 profile, the one I'm using right now. Also, you can use curves in any color grading system and do a very hard roll off on the highlights and it will smoothen out those big blotches of highlights and make it look like a smoother roll off. <laughs> And the last pro tip I have for you is to use something like this black pro mist filter. It just smoothens out things a little bit, you can see. And it definitely helps with highlights on small mirrorless cameras. I always keep this on my GH5 lenses just because the GH5 also has limited dynamic range. It's better than this camera, but it just kind of helps the highlights bloom and look more natural and roll offy. I'll put links to all my gear in the description. Or if you don't give a crap about all this talk, just do nothing and just make videos. That's the most important thing anyway. Quickly, let's talk about low light, go over some ISO stuff. We won't spend too much time on it. I would say just light your stuff. But if you're shooting in the street or run and gun, you'll wanna know about this stuff. I wouldn't go above 1000 ISO on this camera in the cine style profile. You'll start to see quite a bit of noise there. You can try to crush your blacks more, but it's just gonna look super contrasty and noisy. I would actually recommend using a standard profile in low light. Pretty much up to 3200 ISO on this camera with a standard profile is clean. So once again, better than the GH5. So what about the body? <laughs> I can't stop thinking about you Hope you never ever leave from my side 
We all have bodies, and so do cameras, and they are to be admired and held, caressed even. This body in particular on the 90D feels really, really nice. I like having the camera without a cage because it's very light. It looks kind of bulky. It's not a huge camera by any means, but it's very, very light when you hold it. So that's good news for all you small armed vloggers. <laughs> Small armed vloggers unite. So dumb. The battery life is really good on this camera. I've been testing this camera on and off for the past three days, and this is actually the first time that I've put a new battery in. Let's see if we can focus on airplane. Oh wow. Hey, it did. And now a Panasonic Blackmagic fanboy is gonna talk about autofocus. It's cool because you can zoom and it stays focused. That's insane. We're doing face tracking test. Keep up, Cannon. What'd you got? What'd you got? It's actually very nice. I don't have to focus. It's crazy. <laughs> Only time it's not good is when it doesn't see a face. Then I think it switches into an auto mode where it picks a zone, but it doesn't really show it on the screen. You can touch to focus if it doesn't find a face, but I kind of like the middle zone autofocus mode because then Whatever you're pointing the camera at, it's gonna be in focus. Dude, it's crazy good. It, I mean, all of you already know, Canon's autofocus is amazing. I have missed that. I, I had that on my 70D and it's, it's gonna be hard going back to the GH5 after that. <laughs> Lastly, the audio of this camera, the internal preamps. It seems like the audio quality is good. I have the gain of the camera turned quite a bit down. And is that a sentence? Who knows, will I, will I change it? No, that's my sentence now. All right, let's talk about who this camera is for. First and foremost, this camera is for vloggers and YouTubers of all kinds. I've been shooting with the GH5 for three years now and I love the quality, but just having this autofocus and this color as good as it is just out of the camera, ugh, dude, it, it makes me consider not having 4K60 or higher bit rates or all that stuff. It kind of feels like I'm using a stripped down GH5 with really good autofocus. It's crazy. The 90D is also perfect for beginner filmmakers. If you're just getting into client work and you're running gimbals and stuff like that, this camera is awesome because you can just set it on the zone autofocus and just get really nice shots that are always in focus. I started my career five or six years ago on the Canon 70D. I still look back at that work sometimes and I'm like, that actually doesn't look terrible. My color grading wasn't good, but the camera itself paired with nice ass glass, good combo. Lenses are far more important than camera bodies now. Like I said, all cameras are pretty much good now. Just get some really nice lenses and this camera will really shine and get you great results. So who is this camera for? Well, not me. You see, <laughs> this camera's not mine. Lens Rentals lent me this camera. Thank you, Lens Rentals, for sponsoring this video. Before you go watch another cool video, don't skip this ad. Just hold on one second because this actually could be helpful for you. Lens Rentals, it's awesome. If you want to rent any camera gear of any kind, you can do it online through Lens Rentals. They ship anywhere in the United States. I used it before I even became sponsored by them and I freaking love it. I've never had an issue with it. If you rent something that you actually really like, you can actually do the rent to own program through Lens Rentals. So I could adopt this 90D as my child if I wanted to. Click the link in the description. It will take you to Lens Rentals. You can rent anything you want and use code ZAK15 for a discount. It supports me and my channel and I would really appreciate it. All right, it's time to factory reset this camera and give it back. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, love you, bye.